Was Mario Maker 2 successful? Well, let's get this out of the way first. The game is confirmed to have sold 7.15 million units at the time of this recording. That's more than Link's Awakening, Mario Tennis Aces, Kirby Star Allies, Xenoblade 2, and almost double what Mario Maker 1 sold. Nintendo made a lot of money here, I don't want to downplay that. But compared to Mario Maker 1's heights, I think the game could be considered a colossal disappointment. We all know the Switch's numbers make the Wii U's look like dog water. Games on Switch should sell better. Several times better, in fact. Ports of old Wii U games, the same product with minor tweaks, are selling significantly more on Switch. I mean, look at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Biggest Switch game, sold 43.35 million, versus the Wii U's 8.46 million. Same game, nearly a 5 times increase. That's what the Switch is capable of. Nobody questioned whether Mario Maker 2 would outsell the original. That was a given. But Mario Maker on Wii U was a console staple, 7th best selling of the entire library. On Switch, it's dropped down to 17th place. If we compare both consoles' top 10 best sellers, Mario Kart is number 1 on both, a 3D Mario makes both lists, Smash makes both lists, Zelda makes both lists, heck, even 2D Mario and Splatoon just barely missed the top 10 on Switch, only recently getting bumped down to the 11th and 12th since Pokemon's Diamond and Pearl remakes dropped. Mario Maker is the Wii U's only top 10 game whose follow-up sequel plummeted in the Switch's rankings. Now, okay, admittedly, determining whether this game was successful just from its ranking relative to the top 10 is... Well, it's a flawed plan. The Wii U's list wasn't skewed by big 3DS IPs like Pokemon, which by itself takes up three top 10 slots on Switch. To account for this, I ran calculations to find how much better Switch sequels sold compared to their Wii U counterparts. All of my statistics are from VGCharts.com by the way, so feel free to check things out for yourself if that sounds like a good afternoon. Anyway, excluding Mario Maker, my sample size found Switch games sell 10.88 million more units compared to their Wii U counterparts on average. That's about a 307% increase, or over 3 times what they managed on Wii U. With this perspective, Mario Maker 2 not even doubling the original game's sales doesn't seem like much of a win at all. So okay, the numbers don't look too hot. But what does Nintendo think? Well, in their financial report on March of 2020, about 9 months after the game's release, they mentioned Luigi's Mansion and Mario Maker 2's sales quote, continued to grow steadily, which is an indicator they felt the game was worth bragging about to investors. But then Mario Maker's sales are described in vague terms. Compare that to the specific units mentioned for Pokemon and Animal Crossing in that same paragraph, and suddenly Mario Maker feels not like an achievement, but a footnote. I understand Pokemon and Animal Crossing were incredible success stories at the time, but still. I mean, it's even mentioned after Luigi's Mansion, which, and this might shock you to hear, actually outsold Maker 2. Unreal. In terms of support, Mario Maker 1 got its last update on November 7th, 2017. The game came out September 10th, 2015, meaning Nintendo kept it alive for around 2 years, 2 months. Conversely, Mario Maker 2's final update was July 14th, 2020, with an initial release of June 28th, 2019, putting its update duration at about a year and a month, or half the time of the original. They cut off Maker 2's updates prematurely. All of this is to say, I think Nintendo's projecting diminishing returns with subsequent Mario Maker investments. It looks like some of the magic of that first game has died out. Mario Maker 3 might still happen due to the sheer amount of money the franchise pulls in, but I could see Nintendo wanting to hold off on it for a number of years first. So was Mario Maker 2 successful? I'd say in the moment, yes, but it may have foreshadowed a rocky scene for the future. Now, I love Mario Maker. I want it to do the best it can. So if you want to know how I think it could be improved, check out this discussion video I recorded with my co-host, Jacob. Hope to see you there.